Find the period for the following functions. Sine to the 3x, cos to the 3x, sine to the 4x, cos to the 4x, sine to the 5x, cos to the 5x, etc. So the rule is we need to convert or simplify all this power, all these powers to single power 1 uh, by using double identities or triple identities or or so triple angle identities or something like that. So now let's uh, find the formulas to convert these uh, powers 3, 4, 5 to single powers and maybe with double, triple uh, angles. So here is the formulas to convert each uh, power of the trigonometric function sine and cos uh, to the powers of 1. So for example sine to the 3x is actually 3, 3 by 4 times sine x minus 1, 1 by 4 sine 3x. So for this function here, the period would be the LCM of the period of this and this. So LCM of the period sine x and sine 3x would be the LCM for uh, the period for sine x is 2 pi. Or let's write it down here. So this would be 2 pi comma 3x would be 2 pi over 3. So the LCM of 2 pi and 2 pi over 3 would be 2 pi. Similarly, cos to the 3x would be the the period for cos 3x would be the period for cos x and period for cos 3x and the LCM of that. So the period for cos x is actually 2 pi and period for cos 3x is 2 pi by 3. So the period of the whole function cos cube x would be the LCM of this and this is 2 pi again. Now sine to the power 4 sine to the power 4 can be written as 3 over 8 minus half cos 2x plus 1 over 8 cos 4x. So the period of sine to the 4x would be the LCM of the period of cos 2x and cos 4x. The period of cos 2x would be 2 pi over 2 which is pi. So this would be pi comma the period of cos 4x would be 2 pi over 4 that is 2 pi over 4 is pi over 2 so pi over 2. So the LCM of pi and pi over 2 is pi. Cos to the 4x can be explained the same way as sine to the power 4 3 8 plus half cos 2x plus 1 8 cos 4x. So the period of cos 4x would be the LCM of the period of cos 2x and cos 4x. So the period of cos 2x would be 2 pi over 2 which is pi and and the period of cos 4x would be 2 pi over 4 is pi by 2. So the, uh, the LCM of pi and pi by 2 is still pi. So it's pi also. Though. So the period of cos to the power 4 is again pi. Sine to the power 5. The period of sine to the uh, sine 3x is 2 pi over 3. And the period of uh, sine 5x is 2 pi over 5. So the period of sine to the 5x would be the LCM of 2 pi over 3 and 2 pi over 5 that would be 2 pi again and now the cos to the power 5x cos to the power 5x can be written as 5 8 cos x plus 5 16 cos 3 x and 1 16 cos 5 x so the period of cos 5 x would be the LCM of the periods of cos x cos 3 x and cos 5 x what is the period of cos x that is 2 pi or 1 is 2 pi and the period of cos 3x would be 2 pi over 3 and the period of cos 5x would be 2 pi over 5 so the period for cos to the 5x would be the LCM of all these three periods for each one of them and the LCM of 2 pi comma 2 pi by 3 comma 2 pi by 5 is again 2 pi so these are all the periods of each of these functions, sine cube x, sine cos cube x, sine to the 4, cos to the 4, sine to the 5, and cos to the 5, etc.